For this drawing I used Bristol board from Strathmore and I didn't want to recreate the exact tree all the way but I wanted to have information from basic main branches as we move forward and so I'm anchoring that in with a grid and we've got kind of the basics of it in place and you notice it's off to the left a little bit I don't want to put it dead center I feel like it's a better composition I trace it now with your pen and start building in a, a real light first layer with some hatch marks in the direction of the trees and you can I also cross hatched a few that you'll notice also to achieve the fog and the subtle transition between the ground and the back did a lot of hatching on this one and you can see some of the first layers of hatching there it doesn't look like too much of anything impressive yet <laughs> but keep working at it and I'm real light with the first layer second third fourth layers and start building with a little more pressure once we get into the foreground and you'll notice I use a tissue there it's a good way to blend and help to um, pull some of that ink around it's not going to blend a lot but it what it does blend sure can be helpful and you'll see that we're going in the background you can see a little bit in the distance but not too far because we're trying to create a nice shaded uh, foggy look to the drawing and at this point I don't have any of the end branches in place yet and um, I just want to show you you can use glassine paper if you find that your hand is pulling around too much of the ink and put that on the underneath the palm of your hand so using some uh, different thickness pens I start anchoring in a little bit more information on the branches and all the way at the tip of the branches I'm using a fine tip pen and for the thicker branches I'm using just a middle one and near the trunk I, I'm using the zebra pen from if I feel like the, the inks a little bit darker but it's a zebra Z grip flight pen and the ink that it puts down really dark so it puts a real rich tone in there and just kind of following some information from the reference photo start putting in a lot more detail for the edge and you can see that it's coming together it's what I wanted it to be and you can keep going through all of your branches until you've got something that you're happy with in the foreground I put a few fallen branches you can see shadows from those and put in a little bit more information there getting a, a nice blend from the foreground to the foggy air and here's our final drawing <laughs>